minutes after the World Bank revealed that the Naira recorded a 10.2% depreciation in 2022, prompted by rising food and fuel prices globally, among other stimulants. In its Africa Pulse report published last week, the World Bank stated that the depreciation of the exchange rate was also a major contributor to inflationary pressures in the sub-Saharan region. And now to sports, Ismail Benaka's first half goal gave AC Milan an advantage over Napoli in the first leg of their All-Italian Champions League quarterfinal. The Algeria midfielder struck him from the edge of the area after Brahan Diaz broke superbly on the halfway line. Napoli had Andre Frank Zambo and Guisa sent off in the second half and were held by Milan. Napoli, the highest scorers in the competition this season, continued to push with former Fulham midfielder Anguissa and Zielinski having efforts tipped over the bar. Chelsea's Champions League dreams failed after the fell to a 2-0 defeat to Real Madrid in the quarter-final first leg yesterday. The Blues failed to score for the fourth successive game for the first time in 30 years in the Spanish capital as Frank Lampard's side once again struggled in the final third. Goals from Karim Benzema and Marco Asensio handed Los Blancos a vital victory in their bid to retain the title. Chelsea must win by at least two goals next week if they are to qualify for the semi-final. Coach Frank Lampard, however, expressed disappointment following the outcome of the match. Um, some good, you know, disappointed, yeah, for sure. And uh, Real Madrid are always going to give you problems here, and you have to defend really well for that for the game. I thought in parts we did, and of course the moments that you don't, they score. And that's why the, the, the set piece goal was disappointing because but we saw the game out with ten men pretty well. We worked hard, we changed the system, we changed players, we brought legs on. We have a chance, big chance later in the game that, that doesn't go in. So to, to concede from a set piece is disappointing. Um, can we get better? Yeah, been here a short time now and I know there's, there's talent in the squad I know that there's a, a lot of talent but at this level you know we do need everything and um, the players that have commitment is for me is, is unquestioned without a doubt can we be a bit braver and a bit better with the ball and a bit more clinical and those things yeah and then it can we work and hard work that's, that's the only thing I know before we end the news here is a recap of our top stories the Lagos State's Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development has confirmed the collapse of an unapproved seven-story building under construction collapsed on Banana Island in the Ikoyi area of the state. In Oshin State, two persons said to be members of the Awo Hall executives have been arrested by the police following the death of Ahize Okoli, a 500-level student of the Civil Engineering Department at the Obafemi Awolowo University. We brought you news on the foreign scene that Qatar and Bahrain have announced that they had agreed to end a long-running diplomatic field and re-establish relations. You can follow us on our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Western Spring Television. You can also watch us live on our YouTube channel at Western Spring Television. Thanking you indeed for watching Spring News at 12. I am Dami Lola Rafael. Do have a good afternoon.